Summary of Digital Minimalism Choosing a Focused Life in a Noisy World by Cal Newport, written and narrated by Janky Mind. Introduction In the age of multi-billion dollar companies vying for our attention on digital platforms, digital minimalism offers a practical and empowering guide to navigate today's media landscape. As skepticism grows surrounding new technology and digital media, people are seeking to reclaim their autonomy and live more fulfilling and healthier lives. This book equips you with the tools and methods to regain focus and productivity by stepping back from the overwhelming grasp of new technology. Over the past two decades, numerous technological advancements have marked our lives, but one significant milestone that often goes unnoticed is the advent of the like button. Initially introduced on friend feed in 2007, the seemingly innocent feature has become ubiquitous across all social media platforms, constantly generating notifications and collecting data on our preferences and behaviors, keeping us hooked. Amidst this backdrop, it's hardly surprising that people are now pushing back against social media and questioning the potential harm these technologies may inflict. An ever-growing body of research reveals the negative effects linked to social media and smartphones, compelling us to reconsider our digital habits. Author and Professor Cal Newport conducts a groundbreaking experiment within the pages of this book. Drawing on the insights of 1,600 volunteers who followed his guidelines for a month-long technological sabbatical, Newport unveils the concept of digital minimalism. This refreshing approach empowers individuals to distance themselves from digital distractions and discover a more gratifying and rewarding way of life. Through this audiobook, you'll delve into eye-opening revelations such as the striking similarity between social media and big tobacco, how the Amish lifestyle can teach us to make better use of smartphones, and the fascinating journey of how attention has become even more valuable than oil in our digital age. Digital minimalism presents a transformative opportunity to reclaim control over our lives and embrace a more intentional and fulfilling existence. Chapter 1, Unintended Addictions, The Dark Side of Modern Devices In a thought-provoking 2016 article by renowned writer Andrew Sullivan, he vividly depicted the overwhelming impact of today's constant stream of news, images, and online chatter. Many of us can relate to the compulsive urge to check our smartphones incessantly for texts, emails, and social media updates, leaving us with an odd emptiness during brief moments of disconnection. How did we find ourselves trapped in this digital web? The truth is, the technology that now ensnares us was never intended to wield such power over our lives. The iPhone, initially introduced by Steve Jobs in 2007 as the best iPod ever, was designed to serve as a cool means of making phone calls and enjoying music. The idea of the iPhone becoming a platform for third-party apps and gaming was initially dismissed by Jobs and his team. Similarly, Facebook started as a clever novelty in 2004, providing a way to explore connections between friends of friends, rather than being the all-consuming source of news and time-wasting it is now. In those days, college students were more enthralled with the computer strategy game Snood than with Facebook. When we first integrated these devices into our lives, we had no inkling that we would end up spending hours each day entranced by them. The dangerous and addictive nature of technology crept up on us, cunningly engineered by social media experts seeking to capitalize on our natural desire for social approval. Bill Maher aptly likened these social media tycoons to the new big tobacco, skillfully marketing products designed to hook us. Numerous strategies have been employed to capture and retain our attention, exploiting our instinctive need for social validation. The introduction of the thumbs up button by Facebook in 2009, inspired by friend feeds like button, transformed the act of posting into an intensely interactive experience. Each response triggered a primal urge to keep checking for more, and the accompanying notification sounds became deeply ingrained in our consciousness. As our reliance on these devices has grown, we find ourselves entangled in a web of unintended addictions. The path forward lies in understanding the deliberate manipulation at play and reclaiming control over our relationship with technology. 
Only then can we navigate this modern digital landscape with greater autonomy and balance, safeguarding our well-being and fulfillment in the process. Chapter 2, Digital Minimalism, Embracing Less for a More Fulfilling Life In the face of Silicon Valley's clever tactics aimed at exploiting our vulnerabilities, we need a robust defense. Enter digital minimalism, a lifestyle concept introduced by the author Cal Newport, grounded in the philosophy that less can truly be more. While some may advocate for quick fixes like disabling smartphone notifications, Newport remains skeptical about the long-term impact of such minor adjustments. He questions the need for an overwhelming number of apps, as exemplified by one individual who disabled notifications for a staggering 112 apps. Drawing inspiration from the time-honored minimalist approach championed by figures like Marie Kondo, digital minimalism adopts a similar mindset, allowing only those apps and digital media that genuinely align with our values and bring joy into our lives. Newport encourages us to ponder whether a website, app, or service truly supports what we value in a way that nothing else can. Going beyond mere selection, digital minimalism prompts us to optimize our use of technology, seeking to maximize its value while minimizing the time and energy it consumes. For instance, if Twitter significantly benefits our careers, we can establish purposeful rules for its usage, allowing us to engage efficiently and then disengage. Tyler's experience exemplifies the transformative power of digital minimalism. Initially drawn to social media platforms for connection, entertainment, and networking, he realized that the benefits were outweighed by the time invested. Embracing digital minimalism, Tyler bid farewell to social media and witnessed a remarkable shift in his life. He now finds joy in more exercise, reading books, volunteering, and learning to play music. Despite these enriching activities, he also enjoys increased quality time with his family and heightened focus at work. As Tyler attests, digital minimalism has liberated him, leading him to question why some people claim they can't quit social media when, for him, it's now an unquestionable choice. Digital minimalism advocates for a mindful and intentional approach to our digital lives, enabling us to reclaim our time, energy, and focus for what truly matters, ultimately leading to a more fulfilling and balanced existence. Chapter 3, Embracing Economic Wisdom and Amish Principles At the core of digital minimalism lie three fundamental principles, the new economics, the law of diminishing returns, and the wisdom of the Amish. These timeless concepts serve as guiding beacons, illuminating the path towards a more intentional and fulfilling digital existence. The New Economics, famously championed by Henry David Thoreau in his renowned work, Walden, emphasizes the true cost of possessions, factoring in not just their monetary value but also the time, stress, and effort required to attain and maintain them. This principle urges us to scrutinize every bit of digital media we allow into our lives, questioning the genuine gains it offers and the toll it takes on our time and attention. As we weigh the benefits and costs, we discover the power to choose alternative and more fulfilling ways to accomplish tasks. The law of diminishing returns, another cornerstone of economic theory, teaches us that an endless accumulation of resources does not guarantee perpetual improvement. Just as an assembly line reaches its capacity with additional workers, cramming our digital lives with an excess of sources and platforms leads to overwhelming and incomprehensible distractions. Instead, optimization becomes the key to enhancing our digital experiences. Selecting efficient tools that align with our needs, like the Instapaper app for curated reading, empowers us to maximize value without drowning in a sea of superfluous content. Drawing inspiration from the Amish way of life, we find a profound lesson in their balanced approach to technology. Far from being technophobes, the Amish methodically test and question new tools, embracing those that align with their core values of family and community, while discarding those that do not. Applying this value-based approach to our digital tools allows us to evaluate whether they genuinely support our aspirations and principles or whether we are better off without them. In embracing these principles of digital minimalism, we gain the wisdom to curate our digital lives intentionally.
By valuing quality over quantity and aligning our choices with our core values, we discover a more meaningful and rewarding digital existence, one that enriches our lives rather than detracting from them. Chapter 4, Digital Declutter, A Path to Intentional Technology Use Embracing the principles of digital minimalism marks the beginning of a transformative journey, and it all starts with a crucial 30-day digital declutter. Unlike a mere digital detox, this period entails a deliberate pause to reflect on our habits and pave the way for a fresh approach to our digital lives. During these 30 days, the goal is to eliminate all non-essential technology from our daily existence. While initially daunting, Participants in Newport's 1,600-person experiment found that addictive habits gradually faded away, leaving space for more meaningful pursuits. Distinguishing convenience from necessity becomes paramount. Quitting Facebook, for instance, may strengthen relationships as it fosters more personal connections. As we detach from digital distractions, we embark on an introspective journey to rediscover our true passions and values beyond the virtual realm. This introspection sets the stage for the next step, finding activities that enrich our lives, filling the void left by social media and new technology. Following the digital declutter, a carefully considered reintroduction period commences, guided by three fundamental questions for each technology under consideration. First, we assess whether the technology aligns with something we deeply value. If so, we proceed to the second question which examines whether it is the best way to support that value. In this thoughtful evaluation, we may find that personal interactions, such as Skype calls with faraway relatives, hold greater significance than social media platforms like Instagram. Many discover that certain technologies fail to pass this meaningfulness test. For the technologies that withstand scrutiny, the final question becomes essential. How can we use this tool in a way that maximizes its benefits and minimizes its potential harm? Digital minimalists do not merely use or abstain from using technology, instead, they deliberately optimize its usage. For instance, if they use Twitter, they refrain from using it on their phones, check it only once or twice a week, and follow only those whose content adds genuine value to their lives. By diligently applying these principles, we craft an intentional and fulfilling digital landscape, where technology serves as a tool to enhance our lives rather than dominate them. The journey to digital minimalism empowers us to regain control, achieve balance, and rediscover the joys of living beyond the confines of screens and notifications. Chapter 5, Finding Solitude, Embracing Digital Minimalism for Lasting Change In a world full of fleeting life hacks and quick fixes, the quest for sustainable change often remains elusive. While these shortcuts may spark a temporary healthy habit, they fail to instill lasting transformation, leading to frustration and abandonment. In contrast, digital minimalism offers a range of practices that seamlessly integrate with our lifestyles and bestow meaningful and gratifying rewards, setting it apart from many digitally driven activities. At the heart of these recommendations lies the invaluable practice of solitude, a precious commodity increasingly robbed by modern technology. For those born before the smartphone era, reminiscing about life without these devices comes with clarity. However, the iGen generation, born between 1995 and 2012, has grown up in the pervasive presence of smartphones, spending an astonishing nine hours daily on these screens. World-renowned generational researcher Jean Twenge has alarming findings for this group, observing a sharp rise in psychological health issues, including elevated levels of depression, suicide, eating disorders, homesickness, and above all, anxiety. A term coined for this affliction is solitude deprivation, a deficiency in time away from screens and external influences, critical for processing emotions, contemplating relationships, assessing life's priorities, and finding inner calm and clarity. The good news is that solitude is readily accessible, whether in a bustling cafe or a crowded subway, as long as one can embrace their own thoughts, free from constant external input. A simple yet transformative step towards solitude is leaving one's phone at home during outings. For those who remember life before smartphones, 
This act is neither dangerous nor radical. For those worried about emergencies, a compromise can be reached by placing the phone in the glove compartment or another less accessible spot. Likewise, the age-old practice of taking long walks is a classic source of solitude, revered by many great thinkers throughout history. Figures like Thoreau, Rambeau, Rousseau, and Nietzsche found inspiration in their best ideas during solitary strolls. Engaging in this activity sans earbuds or screens offers a genuine connection with one's surroundings and inner self. By integrating moments of solitude through digital minimalism, we can recalibrate our relationship with technology, finding a harmonious balance that nurtures our mental well-being, cultivates meaningful reflection, and ignites creativity. The pursuit of solitude becomes a doorway to authentic and lasting change, enriching our lives in profound ways. Chapter 6. Embrace Real Connections, Ditch Clicks for Meaningful Conversations Our brains have evolved over millennia, intricately wired to thrive in the context of rich social interactions. It's only natural, then, that superficial emojis and hashtags fail to satisfy the depths of our social cravings. Unsurprisingly, studies show that excessive time on social media can lead to feelings of loneliness, as reported by the American Journal of Preventive Medicine. To counter this loneliness, the next recommended practice of digital minimalism involves abandoning the mindless liking and shallow comments. Instead, silence the urge to offer hollow expressions like so cool or love it. Recognize that these gestures are no substitute for genuine human connections or fulfilling conversations. Save your meaningful comments for the moments when you call a friend or meet them face to face, the very interactions our brains are designed to relish. If you fear that your absence on social media may raise concerns among your friends, openly communicate that you are taking a step back from such interactions. Remember that visiting a friend with some thoughtful food will hold far more value than a hundred likes ever could. By reducing your social media presence, you create room for cultivating authentic relationships and increasing the likelihood of real-world encounters. The same principle applies to texts, messaging, and emails. While they serve practical purposes, an actual phone call surpasses the satisfaction of a string of emojis. Consider adopting a Silicon Valley executive's ingenious approach, establish regular conversation hours. Inform your contacts that, at a specific time each day, they can call you to discuss anything. This simple tactic discourages lengthy text-based exchanges, promoting real-time conversations that are far more fulfilling. You can extend this concept beyond phone calls. Invite friends to join you at your favorite coffee shop on Saturday mornings at 11 a.m. or set up similar recurring opportunities for genuine interactions. The key is to prioritize authentic conversations over digital chatter, enhancing your social life and fostering deeper connections with those around you. By embracing real connections and replacing clicks with meaningful conversations, you will uncover the joy and fulfillment that genuine human interactions can bring. Digital minimalism empowers you to reclaim the essence of social life, enriching your well-being in a world where true connection often hides behind screens. Chapter 7, Elevating Leisure, Embrace Fulfilling Hobbies and Limit Digital Distractions Undoubtedly, the value of quality leisure time should never be underestimated. As Aristotle, the legendary philosopher, emphasized, to lead a fulfilling life, one must embrace moments of contemplation and pure enjoyment in their activities. These soul-nourishing endeavors, aptly termed high-quality leisure, are the essence of a satisfying existence, as elaborated by Aristotle expert Kirin Setia. In contrast, digital distractions like social media and mindless binge-watching fall into the category of low-quality leisure. Hence, a fundamental goal of digital minimalism is to create ample space for high-quality activities while consciously restricting time spent on low-quality pursuits. Delving into the attributes that define high-quality leisure, the author discovers that hobbies demanding strenuous effort often yield the most rewarding outcomes. 
Despite initial reservations, the influential British writer Arnold Bennett notes that investing effort in leisure pursuits brings forth immense satisfaction and even leaves us feeling energized. Another crucial aspect of high-quality leisure involves engaging with the physical world, as underscored in Gary Rogowski's book, Craftsman. Tapping our fingers on a small screen can never compare to the deep fulfillment derived from hands-on interaction with tangible, three-dimensional objects. Thus, digital minimalism imparts a leisure lesson to immerse ourselves in the physical realm, applying skills and crafting valuable creations. Technology can play a constructive role in this process, offering a treasure trove of YouTube tutorials that enable us to spend a rewarding weekend crafting our own wooden headboard or mastering basic carpentry techniques. To maintain momentum and high-quality leisure, consider setting leisure time goals, such as learning the guitar parts for five Beatles songs in preparation for a mini-concert at a friend's Sunday barbecue three weeks from now. Deadlines like these serve as powerful motivators, propelling us forward in our pursuits. To ward off the temptations of low-quality leisure, it is prudent to schedule specific times for these activities rather than attempting an abrupt withdrawal. Gradually allocating focus time to low-quality pursuits while dedicating the rest of our free time to high-quality endeavors enables a seamless transition, making digital distractions gradually lose their grip. By elevating leisure through fulfilling hobbies and judiciously managing digital distractions, we unlock the true essence of a meaningful life. Digital minimalism empowers us to embrace enriching experiences, invigorating our souls and redefining our perception of leisure, paving the way to a more gratifying existence. Chapter 8, The Attention Resistance, Empowering Autonomy in the Digital Age In a world dominated by smartphones and social media, digital minimalism may appear as an unconventional concept. However, it is merely a facet of a global movement known as the attention resistance, born out of the attention economy. In this industry, tech giants like Facebook operate similarly to 19th century tabloid newspapers, profiting by capturing and selling their vast audiences' attention to advertisers. With attention now surpassing the value of oil, companies like Google and Facebook have amassed staggering valuations emphasizing the critical role of gaining and maintaining users' focus. Fueled by the desire to preserve autonomy and counter-manipulative tactics, the attention resistance employs powerful strategies to reclaim control over our digital lives. One effective method is downgrading your phone, as seen with those who embrace classic flip phones reminiscent of the early 2000s. By distancing themselves from the attention economy, these individuals take a stand against perpetual distraction. Another tactic involves transforming your computer into a single-purpose device, reminiscent of the earliest versions of Macs and PCs. Popular blocking software like Freedom facilitates this approach, allowing users to focus on specific tasks without constant diversions. Despite skepticism from some quarters, reverting to a single function machine enhances productivity and concentration as users eliminate the noise of simultaneous program usage. Although Silicon Valley may wield vast resources to captivate our attention, digital minimalism and the tools of the growing attention resistance enable us to forge our path. Embracing this movement empowers us to safeguard our autonomy and concentrate on what genuinely matters, forging a more intentional and purposeful existence in the ever-evolving digital landscape. Summary Digital minimalism is a lifestyle that aims to address the emerging risks posed by today's digital media environment. The increasing abundance of data has led to two concerning realities. Businesses in the attention economy deliberately design addictive products, and excessive exposure to these products negatively affects our well-being. Therefore, it is prudent to re-evaluate our relationship with these services and our smartphones in general. Embracing the principles and practices of digital minimalism empowers us to regain control over our attention and experience a heightened sense of contentment in our lives. Practical Advice – Remove Social Media from Your Mobile Device When people adopt the digital minimalism approach to evaluate any social media platform, they often discover that the drawbacks outweigh the benefits. 
However, if you have valid reasons to maintain a presence on social media, it is advisable to delete the app from your phone and access it solely through a web browser. By eliminating constant access to social media, you will notice a considerable improvement in your life. Taking this extra step enables many individuals to either recognize that social media was not beneficial at all or become more conscious users, dedicating only the necessary time and gaining more opportunities for meaningful activities. This audiobook summary was brought to you by Janky Mind. We hope you enjoyed it.